What's up guys, it's me, Cloud Gaming here, bringing you another Red Dead Online video. In today's video, it's gonna be a really short one because this is actually, what I did at least was pretty, was really simple. Um, this video is actually gonna be how to level up the Collector's Guide fast, and some of you guys might not like this video, but it's actually really simple. There's no hack, there's no cheat, there's no super quick way to do it, but the way that I did it, I got it done in the second day that I uh, got it, because I got the bag for free. So I leveled up, it up enough to get the shovel, and then I got the shovel, and then I leveled it up, and then I stopped playing, and then I leveled it up the rest of the way. This weth is actually really simple. So at first, what you want to do, you want to ignore most of the collectibles. What you want to do, collect as many flowers as you can. That's really the simplest thing. You're going to go up to the flowers. It doesn't matter if you have one, of the one set of flowers or if you have 10 sets of the same flower, you're gonna collect as many flowers as you can until you get the shovel and the metal detector. You can, get, you can get the shovel and then wait and get the metal detector, but what you want is a shovel and the metal detector. Once you have both of those, what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start keep going after coins and then go after jewelry, but only go after the jewelry that's on your way. The reason that this is a separate set, or it was for me, was because while you're leveling up, you're still going to be getting a lot of XP from getting all these flowers, but you're also, this is where you're going to start making profit. So you're going to collect as many flowers as you can, and while you're going by, if you know, if maybe you're using the collective map that I do, I'll probably leave it in the description down below. Um, but as long as you're doing, as long as you're using the map that I am, and you are collecting wildflowers after wildflower after wildflower, you will, you'll get to level 20 in no time at all. The only reason that I wasn't able to get to level 20 in one day is because I had to get off. It was like 1 in the morning and I didn't start playing until like 8 so I had only played for about... No, I didn't actually even start playing until like 10 so I, I had 3 hours and I was already past level 10. But once you get that shuffle, once you get that metal detector guys, it flies by. Like you can get a bunch of flowers and then get the metal detector, get the shovel and it's it's so easy and then you can start making profit a lot of profit you can make 500 i think it's 540 for a collection of coins and then i think it's like 248 for the best jewelry um and it's really easy to make profit and get xp for this role guys so that's really all i have to say um this role is great because once you actually do start making a profit and you have a bunch of xp you can buy this horse that I'm using, which currently I believe is the best horse in the game, if I'm right. Um, and it actually looks pretty good too. So that's really it, guys. I'm not going to ramble on for any longer. I'm sorry if I was talking really fast, uh, which I think I was. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you do, if you did, please do like, comment, and if you really liked it, uh, please do subscribe I, and stick around. I make Red Dead Online video every single day that I can. Uh, every once in a while I won't make one, but usually I make them. Um, if you didn't like it, please do tell me why in the description down below. Um, and uh, so that I can improve my uh, video for the next time that I make one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye.